Imagine playing Super Mario World from the 1990s. You are running, jumping, and stomping on enemies. But then you do something strange. You jump at a specific pixel. You spin for exactly 11 frames. You duck just as a fireball passes. Suddenly, the game breaks. You are not just playing anymore. You have rewritten the memory of the console and unlocked God Mode. This is what speedrunners call arbitrary code execution. Now here is the hook that will keep you up at night. What if our universe works exactly the same way? Researchers are beginning to argue that reality is not a fixed movie, but a moddable game engine. And for the first time in history, we have built a tool that is finding the glitches. We are not talking about magic. We are talking about AI agents discovering exploits in the laws of physics that humans were never meant to see. To understand this, we have to look at how reinforcement learning actually works. When you train an AI to play a game, it does not care about the rules you intended. It only cares about the reward. In a famous experiment by OpenAI, agents playing hide and seek learn to use boxes to build shelters. That is normal. But then, they learn to surf on top of the boxes to launch themselves over walls, breaking the physics engine entirely. The developers did not code that behavior. The AI found a high-dimensional exploit in the system. Now, scale that up to our reality. If the universe is 13.8 billion years old, it stands to reason that it is full of legacy code and unpatched glitches. Things like quantum entanglement or dark matter might just be spaghetti code that we have not figured out how to exploit yet. But AI is starting to. But here is where the stakes get real. This is not just about video games. It is about biology. For 50 years, scientists tried to solve the protein folding problem. It was considered impossible. Then came AlphaFold. It treated biology not as a wet, messy science, but as a pattern recognition problem. It cracked the code of life in a way no human ever could. AlphaFold proved that biology has a source code. DeepMind is now using this to design drugs by inverting the problem. They are not discovering medicine. They are compiling it. If proteins are just subroutines for life, then we are moving from being observers of biology to being system administrators. We are starting to write to the API of our own bodies. And this leads us to the most controversial idea. If reality is a simulation with an operating system, then what is religion? Some researchers are now suggesting that ancient rituals might not be superstition. They might be the original user manual. Think about it. Prayer, meditation, and ritual are specific. Repeatable input strings designed to change your internal state. In this framework, a monk is a power user. A shaman is a hacker trying to access undocumented features of the console. Prayer becomes a high-level AP, I call. Meditation is a debugger for your subjective experience. They do not know the low-level machine code, but they know which buttons to press to get a result. It is behavior modification through system exploits. This changes how we look at history. Maybe those moral codes. Do not steal. Do not kill. We're not just divine commands. Maybe they were sandboxing rules. Constraints designed to keep the multiplayer simulation from crashing. If everyone acts like a virus, the social layer collapses. Religion might have been the patch that kept civilization stable enough to reach the computing age. But here is the payoff. We are no longer just living in the simulation. We are building our own. Nick Bostrom's famous trilemma suggests that if a civilization can build ancestor simulations, they will build billions of them. Statistically, it is far more likely we are in one of the billions of simulations than in the one single base reality. And look at what we are doing right now. We have created virtual worlds in Unreal Engine. We have AI agents living thousands of lifetimes and hours inside DeepMind servers. We are building the very technology that proves Bostrom right. We are creating the next layer of the nest. The question is no longer, are we in a simulation? The question is, what happens when the characters in the game realize they can rewrite the code? This brings us to the final strategic twist. If reality is programmable, then the most valuable skill of the future is not strength, or even intelligence. It is prompt engineering, not just for ChatGPT, but for the universe itself. The people who understand the inputs, whether through code, biology, or focus consciousness, are the ones who get to dictate the outputs. We are transitioning from the player class to the developer class. It is exciting, but it is also terrifying. Because once you have access to the source code, there are no more guardrails. You can fix the bugs, sure. But you can also crash the server. And unlike a video game, there is no reset button for us. If you want to know more about how AI is decoding the physics of our reality, make sure you are subscribed. I am diving deep into the simulation hypothesis in the next video. And trust me, you do not want to miss the evidence we found. Comment below. 
Do you think we are in base reality, or are we just a sophisticated save file? I'll see you in the next level.